Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Slayer back here again with another video. Um, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I have over three months of sobriety and I create these videos as just another way to help myself stay sober and help you guys out there stay sober as well. Um, just a quick shout out to all you lovely people who have been commenting, who have been sharing your guys' experiences, your guys' journeys in this, in our, you know, our addiction journeys. And, you know, it's like I was talking to this guy, you know, he's been a subscriber for a while. Shout out to you, Luke. You know who you are. Um, it's like we were talking. It's like we can really relate as alcoholics and addicts. You know, we're very similar. A lot of the things that we've been through, a lot of the shit that we've done, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, we're not, we're not different. Our stories are very, very similar. Um, so yeah, just shout out to all of you guys and uh, thank you for, for, you know, watching and I'm glad that I can help and you guys are definitely helping me. Um, today's topic for the video, uh, I actually wanted to tell you guys probably the very first time that I realized that I had a major issue with alcohol, that it's like, it really settled in that it's like, oh shit, man. I might be an alcoholic. Um, there was consequences um, leading up to this, but they were very minor. Um, the biggest one that I could think of, and I'll tell you guys this story real quick because it was fucking crazy. Um, I was hanging out with, uh, it was actually at the time, one of my ex-girlfriends. Um, and this girl that I dated was before um, the ex that I've told you guys about in the past. And... You know, I, was, I wasn't I uh, was 21 at this time. So it's like I kind of told you guys in the past, you know, I would drink, but it was only on occasion when I could get my hands on it. It was very rare that I could, uh, sorry guys, somebody just walked by me and <laughs> just walked by my car. I wasn't expecting that. Damn, that scared me. But um, <laughs> anyways, uh, you never know out here, man. You never know who's, who's walking up on you like that, man. Anyways, so yeah, man. Um, I remember I was hanging out with her. Um, we actually became friends. We didn't, you know, break up in a horrible way. So we were, we were pretty close for a long time after. And, uh, I remember we were drinking, uh, hard liquor. It was vodka, if I could remember, man. And I was just fucking guzzling in it, just guzzling it. And, you know, on top of it, doing one of the worst things that you could possibly do. And I know that not all alcoholics do this because I've talked to plenty that I guess were smarter than me. And I'm talking about drinking and driving. Yeah, I was uh, driving us around on top of me and her being absolutely fucking hammered. As for a recipe for disaster, man, stupid, stupid, stupid. Do not do that. Do not drink and drive. It's something that I regret. It's something that I wish I've never done. But I'm, I'm honest on this channel and I got to be honest with you guys. So yeah, I was, I was drinking, we were drinking, we were passing the bottle. And I remember at the time, um, Pandora, if you guys remember, you know, the Pandora, you could play music off of Pandora before Spotify came over and kind of just wiped that shit out. I, I took my phone to change a song and uh, the music was blaring and I was, I was fucking wasted guys. I looked down at my phone to change the song and my I, my hand just started drifting and there was a car parked on the left side you know i was on the right side driving and there was a, a, a car parked on the left side um facing you know this way as i was going you know forward and i just started drifting and i was i was looking at uh my phone and i remember she started screaming my name super loud and you know i'll just say slayer she was like slayer slayer and I just, I remember I looked up and I could not, I couldn't react in time um, to stop it. I remember we just slammed right into a fucking car, head on, boom. I remember I, it was so fucking loud. Uh, I couldn't hear anything. Smoke was coming out because of the fucking, uh, you know, the airbag went off. And I remember the first thing after like the initial shock, kind of wore off a little bit. My The first thing that popped in my head was, holy shit, I hope that she's wearing a seatbelt. And thank God, thank God that she was. Uh, and thank God that we both, you know, walked away from that uninjured, um, which is a miracle. Um, I remember at the time I pulled back and uh, we were both just like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what to do. I remember I pulled off and ended up 
you know, driving off thinking that, you know, oh, I'm going to get away with this. I didn't get away with it. I got caught. Got in all sorts of trouble for that. So there was consequences like that. That was pretty major. Um, but the first time that I really, it really hit me that it's like, fuck, man, I'm, I really do have an alcohol problem. Uh, was when I got fired from my first job ever. Uh, I was at this job for four and a half years made tons of friends uh it's actually where i met my ex-girlfriend um i was very liked at this job um I, I actually i enjoyed this job this job wasn't it it was a good job man and i did not want to lose this job and i remember you know i was coming there often you know there at the end right before i got fired i was coming there often drunk you know drinking and i'm sure that some people knew uh, i tried my best to hide it I remember one time I went in there and I was so fucking hammered. I don't know how I didn't get fired that day. Uh, I went in there, I was I was blackout drunk, screaming, hollering. I remember I raced some dude after we got off the shift. I was like, okay, you know, again, another example of being a moron, drinking and driving. And just, I don't even know, the, the stupidity of all of it. And I remember when it finally came to a hold and I, and they, they fired me was I came in and this was after being warned after missing days you know I was I was already fucking up but it still didn't register in my alcoholic brain that I had a problem and I remember one shift I went in and I was working I don't think I had drank that day um but it was just at this point it was such a regular thing for me to drink on the job. I was drinking like every other day. I was drinking pretty much every time that I was at the job. It was, it, at this point, it was, it was an issue. It was becoming an issue. And I remember on my break on this particular shift, I went to the Wine and Spirits and I went and bought liquor. And I remember I told the dude behind the counter, I knew this guy and I thought that I could trust him. I was like, I'm just gonna drink this later. I'm not gonna drink this obviously on my shift, you know, not me not not me i wouldn't do something like that and uh you know of course that's exactly what i did i purchased that went right out into my car and started drinking um and he went up and he told the higher ups he told the managers on me and that was it uh it was pretty dramatic the them firing me people were very emotional people were shocked uh i was devastated i mean it's kind of rare when you actually have a job that you you care about and i think it wasn't the job that i cared about so much as it was the people a lot of good people man i met a lot of decent people there i met a lot of assholes there too but I met a lot of decent people there and um it was devastating man i uh, and i remember walking outside that day and going and getting in my car and just sitting there and just be thinking like Holy shit, man. I think I got a, I think I have a problem. Like I think that this is an issue. And I remember the first thing, you know, you think and this again, this one makes me an alcoholic. This is what separates me from the regular people, you know. The first thing, you know, I just got fired for buying alcohol. You would think that I would want nothing to do with it. Nope. First thing I did was go purchase more alcohol. And I justified it all the way to the moon. You know, I just got fired. I'm all bummed out. You know, I need to drink. And that was when I realized, man, I, I realized it, it, it was a problem. And that was the beginning of several, several issues that have eventually led me here, led me to where I am now. And I honestly think, guys, that we have to go through every single relapse. We have to go through every single fall. We have to go through every single trial, every single tribulation to be able to get to where we're supposed to be. And I don't think that we're supposed to get there any sooner. It's powerful, man. When I sit back and I think about it, you know, I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back and stop myself. You know, I've said it before. If I could go back and never touch alcohol or never touch a drug in my entire life, I would. I would. Even though I've had like, quote unquote, good experiences like with like weed and like, you know, some psychedelic drugs and shit like that. Like if I could go back and never touch any of that shit ever, I would a hundred percent do so. Uh, it, it was the beginning of my downfall in a lot of ways, man. It was the beginning of a lot of lost relationships, a lot of 
embarrassment, a lot of turmoil, a lot of hurt to my family, a lot of hurt to myself. And it's just very crazy looking back on that, man. And now sitting here over three months of sobriety, it's kind of wild, man. It's kind of wild. And I hope that you guys out there, if you guys are thinking, you know, man, do, you know, you guys might be in those beginning stages of alcoholism and you're kind of questioning, do I have a problem? Because, you know, it's normal, man. If you're questioning that, I, I urge you to maybe take a step back and, and really examine that. And if you do, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Nip it in the bud before the consequences start to happen because they will happen. It's inevitable. They're going to come. I used to think that I could just get away and just drink like a fucking pirate for the rest of my life and rock and roll, sex, drugs, fuck it, money, you know, all that bullshit that we get fed, you know, and it just doesn't, it doesn't work out. Eventually it does, you know, what comes around goes around, uh, you know, it, it does come to an end and, uh, the negatives definitely outweigh the positives. So yeah, guys, thank you again. Thank you so much for everybody who's been telling their stories, leaving the feedback. It's, it's incredible. Um, guys, I would also like to say, um, leave, leave some comments on what you guys want to hear, what, what type of topics you guys would like, you know, me to discuss. I have a whole entire list of different videos and different things that I would like to discuss. I would also like to get a better camera, a better setup and really start to take this thing super seriously because the more people that we can help the better man the better so thanks guys um until next time remember stay safe stay sober it's one day at a time thanks guys peace